Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about logic gates that is and, or and not. We will not understand their logic only but also see how to implement and simulate them using codices. So let's start. AND gate. The output of an AND gate will be on when both inputs are on, otherwise the output is off. If we have two inputs A and B, then both the inputs should be on, then only the output Y will be on. As we can see in the table, when the state of A and B is zero, that is, both the inputs are false, then the output is false. And then you can see when A is false and B is true, then the output is false. And then you can see A is true, B is false, then also the output is false. So for output Y to be on, both the inputs should be on. Then only the output Y will be on. If one of the input is false, then the output will not be true. So for the output Y to be true, both the inputs or I can uh, say like that, all the inputs should be on, then only the output Y will be on. Similarly, for the OR logic gate, the output of an OR logic gate will be on when any one of the input is on. That means, if we have two inputs A and B, then, then if any one of the input is true, the output Y will be true. If A is true, B is off, a is on and B is off, then output Y will be on. If A is off, B is on, then also the output Y will be on. As you can see in the table, when both the inputs are false, the output Y will be false. And you can see if B is true and A is false, then the output Y is true. And when A is true and B is false, then also the output Y is true and if both the inputs are true, then also the output Y is true. So at least one input should be true, then only the output Y will be true. And then we have NOR logic gate that is similar to the normally closed contact that we have discussed in the uh, previous video. The output of NOR gate will be on when input is off and vice versa. That means when the state of input is true, then the state of output will be false. And when the state of uh, input will be false, then the state of output will be true. That means when input is true, output will be false. And when input is false, the output will be true. So let's move to codices where we will draw ladder diagrams, implement these logic gates one by one. So firstly, we will start with AND gate, then OR gate, and then NOT gate. So I will open codices here. Let's create, create a new project here. I will change the name to logic gates and choose the template as standard project and click on OK. You need to uh, set the programming language here as ladder logic diagram. Click on OK. Firstly, we need to go to the PLC PRG, double click on it. And you can see here we can uh, uh, here we will draw the ladder diagram. So firstly, so firstly we will insert a normally open contact and let's say it's input one. Okay. And then we are implementing AND logic gate. So when we are implementing AND logic gate, we will connect two inputs, two contacts, two normally open contacts in series, one after the other. So I will insert one more normally open contact here and change its name to input two. Click on OK. And then I will click here. 
and then only I can insert a coil and this coil will be output 1. Okay. So this is a ladder diagram for add logic gate. In this way you can, you can, you know, uh, implement add logic gate. So for this output 1 to be true, both the inputs should be true. If input 1 is true, input 2 is false, then the output will not be true. And if input 1 is false and input 2 is true, the signal will not flow through this. As a result, this output 1 will be false. So for output 1 to be true, both these inputs, when input 1 is true, the signal will flow through this. When input 2 is also true, the signal will flow through this. As a result, this output 1 will get true. After that, I will insert con uh, network below and here we will implement or logic gate. So here I will insert a contact here and this will be input 3. So in this network we will be implementing this is input Okay, so in this network, we are going to implement OR logic gate, OR logic gate. Okay, so to implement OR logic gate, we have to, you know, connect the normally open contacts in parallel. So if this is uh, A, so B should be here, here should be B. So we need to, you know, open the contact, open the uh, this uh, branch, insert branch, and then and then click here and then add a normally open contact like this. We can also and then we need to insert a coil. So we have inserted a coil but this normally open contact will be as input 4. Input 4. Okay. So we need to connect this input 4 like this. So in order to connect this we have here that is or we can simply insert this like this I will delete this and then I will click here like this and then I will insert a coil here. I can, uh, you know, use this uh... Okay, so this is input 3 and we need to connect one more normally open contact in parallel so here we can use this insert contact in parallel and this normally open contact will be input 4. Okay. And then we will insert a coil and this coil will be output 2. Okay. So for output 2 to be odd one of the inputs at least one input should be on if input 3 is on the signal will pass through this and output 2 gets on if input 3 is off then the input 4 should be on then the signal will pass through this as a result this output 2 gets on so if the both inputs are true then the signal will pass through these uh, contacts as a result the output 2 gets on so if none of the input is true, then the output 2 does not get on. So at least one input should be on so that output 2 gets on. After that, I will right click and insert network below. And here we need to, you know, implement not logic gate. So we will insert a normally negated contact, normally closed contact and a coil. So I will click here and add a coil. So this will be input 5 okay and then this coil will be 
output three. So for output three to be on, input five should be off. And when input five is off, the output three is on. And when input five is on, the output three will be off. This is output three. Okay. So let's start the simulation here. I will generate the code here and then log in. Before that, I need to go to, you know, uh, online and start simulation. And after that, I will log in. Yes. And then start. As you can see here, input one and input two, both are off and output one is also false. So when I turn on input one, go to debug and write values, the output one does not get on. So if input one is on, if input one is true and output two, input two is false, then output one is also false. So we need to turn on this input two as well. So I will click here, it gets true and then go to debug and write values. And after that, you can see output one gets two. So for output one to be odd, both the inputs should be false. So if I turn off the input one debug and write values, you can see, you can see output one gets false. So this is and logic gate and means input one and input two both should be on, then only the output will be on. So moving forward to the OR logic gate here, so input 3 and input 4. So as you can see here, input 3 and input 4 both are false. And this output 2 is also false. So when I turn on this input 3, when I turn, uh, click here, it gets true and then go to debug and write values. So as you can see here, where input 3 is true, output 2 gets true. And when I turn on input 4 as well, Output 2 remains true. So, and after that, Output 2 remains true. So, when I turn on of this input 3, input 3, when I turn off this input 3, the output 2 remains true. So at least one of the two inputs should be true, then only output 2 remains true. So when I turn off input 4 as well, when I turn off it, output 2 gets off. So output 2 gets off when one of the input gets true. And moving towards the uh, uh, not logic gate, you can see this input 5, this input 5 is false, but output 3 is true. So, when I input 5 is true, input 5 is false, but the output 3 is true. And when I turn on this output 5, I will debug it right values, you can see output 3 gets off. And when I uh, turn off this uh, input 5, the output 3 gets true. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.